All right, so I've covered how to flash OpenTX firmware on the FlySky TH9X and I've even covered how to bind the module to the receiver and how to use the companion software to make the changes on the radio transmitter. But today we'll take a look at an alternative firmware which is the ER9X for the TH9X radio transmitter and perhaps it could be a better option than the OpenTX firmware because it has a few extra features that could be useful. So let's take a look at the ER9X firmware and see how to flash it and use it on the TH9X radio transmitter. So to install the firmware, the process is exactly the same as you would do with the OpenTX firmware. So I've connected all the jumper wires to the USB programmer and I'll connect the programmer to the computer. And after that, you'll have to go to er9x.com and make sure that you have the app software installed on your computer. So I already have this installed. The next thing is to download the firmware. So where it says ER9X revision 8 to 1. So here we have all the stable firmware files of the ER9X. And I have the Atmega64 chip on my radio transmitter. So I'll select the first file and save it to my computer. If you have the Atmega128 chip, then you can select this file. And if you're using the FRSky module, then you can select the FRSky version. And if you want to get the test version, which have been updated very recently, then you can go to this link, which says ER9X and EBE test version. So if I click on that, we go to OpenRC forums and you can see we have a list of all the latest test version files that are made available by Mr. Mike, who is the developer of the ER9X firmware. So the latest test version that you can install on your TH9X is this, which was made available on 5th August 2021. So if you want, you can use this. So I'll save this. And if you want, you can even install the latest test version for the app software. So, so I tried to install the latest release, but that wouldn't work on my computer. So I'll download the version that was released on 26th October. So after this, I'll extract the test version files and I've also extracted the app software. So to use the test version of the app software, you'll have to copy the .exe file to the program files of the software. So I'll go to program files and I'll paste the .exe file over here and I'll click on replace. And now I can launch the software. So first I'll click on this blue gear icon in which I can set the settings for the USB programmer. So because I'm using a USB ASP device, I've selected that in the programmer option. In the MCU, I have the M64 because I have the Atmega64 chip on my radio transmitter. So I'll select this to M64 and I've set the port to USB. And then I'll click on this icon which says preferences. So here we can set up the radio profile. So if you want, you can change the language. I'll make sure the default channel order is set to AETR. I have a mode 2 transmitter, so I'll select mode 2. And I'll set the version to ER9X. If you want, you can change this to FRSky if you have the FRSky mode. So I'll leave this to ER9X. And I'll make sure that the processor is set to M64. The default EEPROM version is set to 1. So I'll leave that as it is. If you want to check for updates, you can click on check. So currently we don't have any updates. So the current stable version is the R821. And if you want to download it from here, you can click on the download button. But I've already downloaded the file, so I'll skip this. And we have the programmer options again. So everything is set correctly. So I'll click on OK. The next, if you want to create a backup of the existing firmware on the radio transmitter, you can click on this icon which says read firmware from TX and then save it somewhere. Now before we flash the firmware, 
we can change the splash screen to something else and to do that I'll click on the customize splash screen icon and I'll select an image so I'll select this one and if I want I can invert the color and then I'll save it to the hex file which I'll be flashing on the radio transmitter so I'll use the test version of the ER9X and I'll be using the first file so I'll click on that to edit the splash screen and click on save and it says successfully updated so now if I click on load from hex and if I select the first file I should get the custom image and I do so if you want to add a custom splash screen then you can do that before you flash the firmware and then I'll click on this icon which says flash firmware to TX and I'll make sure that I've selected the right file and select that and it says write er9x.hex to flash memory and I'll select yes so now the firmware has been flashed on the radio transmitter and this could take about two to three minutes so the firmware has been installed successfully so I'll click on ok and now I'll turn on the radio transmitter and it says bad EEPROM data so I'll press any key to continue and I have the custom splash screen as well So this is how you can install the ER9X firmware on the TH9X radio transmitter or even the Turnigy 9X. In the upcoming video, we'll take a look at the settings and the extra features that this firmware has over the OpenTX firmware. So thanks a lot for watching.